Hello, and wow. Thank you so much for sticking with me this far and cementing your stance that yes, you want to learn Sammy. A lot of the topics mentioned in this video will be confusing. You might even get lost, but that is okay. This video is meant to demonstrate Sammy's general workflow and create your first basic button as a reward for making it this far. All the topics mentioned in today's lesson will be broken down and analyzed in future Sammy School lessons, so don't fret. You'll quickly realize that Sammy is not hard to use and you'll be a pro in absolutely no time. In Sammy, let's create our first deck. Decks store collections of buttons. Click on the big plus sign and a blank deck will appear. Double click on it and you'll enter the deck's button view. Each of these spots represents a potential spot a button can be generated, allowing you to organize your buttons. Double click on a blank grid space and you'll be presented with your first button. Hmm. I think we'll make a button that sends a chat message of our choosing to Twitch and displays that message as a text source in OBS. Holy moly, that sounds like a lot of work, right? Wrong! You'll see how easily we can accomplish this. Our button seems to not really give us a lot of context as to what we're building today, so let's go ahead and customize it. Right click the button and then click edit appearance at the top. We have a lot of customization at our disposal here. Let's just start basic and give our button a color and a label. There. Now you can see the preview of what your button is going to look like. And when you press save, oof, it's pretty hard to read. Let's expand it a bit for some clarity. Dragging the sides of your button allows you to transform your button. Clicking and holding the middle allows us to move it in a more favorable position. Looking good. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of our button, the command view. Double click on our button to enter the button's command view. Wow, this looks empty. Let's fix that. Sammy contains a block-based visual programming language, helping us easily create what we want while remaining limitless in potential and easy to understand. That sounds very scary, but keep watching, you'll understand quick. Let's add our first block by clicking this plus button. A menu should pop up with loads of commands. We only want to begin with sending a Twitch chat message, so let's enter the Twitch commands submenu. Twitch send chat message should be the first option and what we need. Upon clicking, a new command block should be visible. Each unique command block has some fields that need to be filled, as well as optional ones depending on which one you pick. This first box wants us to enter a message we want to send to Twitch chat. The second box is what channel we want to send the message to. This is only relevant if we have a bot account connected, which we won't get into in this lesson. I can see that the channel I want is set by default, so let's leave it alone. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's save, then we can run our button for testing via this button down here. Congratulations, you've created your first functional basic button. Let's add a little bit more using an OBS command so we can have the text display in OBS and have the chat message send to Twitch chat simultaneously. Let's quickly add a text source in OBS and just name it message. Back in Sammy, click on the plus to add a new command and we want to head over to the OBS command category. In here, we're looking for the command source change text GDI plus. I'm struggling to find it. Thankfully, there is a search bar, so I'll just go ahead and search for it in here. Click on the command and notice the different colored box. Clicking on the drop down button allows us to view our current sources loaded in OBS. That's pretty cool. Let's select message, which is the text source we just made in OBS. Insert the same text as above in box two, run the button and voila. Now we have the message being sent in OBS and being sent to Twitch. Cool, right? However, we still don't know how to trigger it without having to go into the button itself. We can trigger it manually from a mobile device or our PC from the deck using Sammy panel. Let's open up the Sammy panel from the deck view on the left hand side and connect to it. Select our deck. And now we can click a button manually. Better, but what if I want to make it a Twitch chat command? We can add what is known as a trigger, which are unique blocks set in an alternate menu that determines how and when our button should be pressed. Let's go back into our deck, right click on our button and click edit triggers. Let's add a Twitch chat trigger. There's a lot of options here, but we're only going to be paying attention to this box for now. Let's write exclamation point welcome. So anybody that sends exclamation point welcome in the chat, our button will trigger. Save and let's give it a shot. 
we just made a simple chat command bot with some extra OBS flair. If you were confused during this demonstration, that's entirely okay. Future lessons will better explain everything we went over today, but I hope this kind of gives you a brief idea as to what to expect when creating cool stuff for your stream with Sammy. This segues into our next future Sammy School video, teaching you the various ways our community helps you learn and understand Sammy. See you next time. And remember, this video was meant to be a little bit confusing, but it's also meant to show you the general workflow. So just wanted to reiterate that. We'll go over everything. See you next time.